Yeah, that's a really good question because new nurses don't have a lot of experience yet, and it depends on their school and their situation, what actual clinical experience they did get during school. But it all goes back to the fundamentals and the foundations of nursing. It is really busy. Healthcare is just a, especially being a nurse, is just a really busy job. One of the things that they do, new nurses, is trying to capture everything they're supposed to do. I have to give medications. I have to change this dressing. I have to get this patient up to the bathroom. You know, there's so many tasks. And so what they'll do is they'll skip the fundamental um, elements that they learned in nursing school. For example, a patient assessment. So I ask the students in my nursing classes when I go in there and guest lecture, how many of you, now that you've been at the end of your program and worked in the hospital with some of these nurses on the different medical surgical floors or you know their OB experience or PEDS experience, how many of you actually have seen a nurse just not even do an assessment? And majority of them raise their hand and they say, well, the nurses tell us, well, that's what you learn in school, but this is the real world. <laughs> so the problem with skipping an assessment, that's the foundation of how the nurse should be determining where on that scale or continuum, here's your healthy patient, which no patients are healthy, right? And here's the other end where the patients are dead. So anywhere in between there, everything that you do to help that patient become more healthy, <laughs> and that's our job, right, is determined by the basic fundamental assessment. And it can be done fairly quickly and efficiently, but if they skip that part, then there's nothing to say, hmm, this parameter, this vital sign or this lab value or the patient's neurological status is a little bit out of what I was expecting or out of range of normal. And I need to go back and check that patient more frequently now. And so that is another medical error. I think probably the easiest one to capture is understanding patient deterioration and patient clues that'll tell us, hey, I'm not feeling so stable yet. They're not going to verbally tell you that, but their signs and symptoms and physiological data will tell you that. So it's so essential to prevent medical errors in having that baseline assessment of the patients.